Hey guys, today on the rock field we're going to be building these miniature small square rails. Let's get to it. Guys, I've gotten a lot of requests for this video on how to make these small square rails. Uh, it only takes three materials, so it's really, really easy to make. Uh, can't say anything more, so let's get to it. You'll need one. I just got this dowel. It's three by eight by three by eight by thirty-six inches long. Thirty-six inches long. It's pretty small. Uh, but I just made these. It was actually pretty long, much longer. But it's a dowel of your size. And if you want to go for a smaller scale, like one and an eighty-seventh scale, you'll want a smaller rod. Unless you want big square rails. And then what you'll need is some spray adhesive. Then you'll need some. I, I'm using sawdust. This is just a really, really good material and really handy material to have around and it gives it that dead look so the tools you'll need are an exacto knife or something to cut the dowel balsa wood dowel with you'll also need some old tweezers or some wire okay to start off you're gonna get your exacto knife and your dowel and I have a small cutting template that I got you got at Hobby Town and I'm gonna cut these square rails for 164 scale in green light vehicles and 164 scale farm vehicles. I usually cut them about an inch long and that's plenty. And if you want to do shorter, you can. So I'm just going to cut, make sure the side is square first. And then I'll just cut away. And the best way to cut with an exacto knife is to kind of edge it down. And you'll come back, do the other side again, flip it over. Do the other side, flip it over, and did the last side and connect the dots or the lines. Then what you want to do is I just simply twist like that, and that's all that's left there. And you'll just cut that off like so, so it's flush. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step before you cover it in sawdust is to make sure all the sides are square and it's how you want it to be. You don't want any holes in there. This is where our tweezers come in. You're going to want to stick it in the sides. Just a little point so it's like that and it'll stay as you twist it. You can make sure it'll hold. Now get your spray adhesive. Spray a light coat around it. Now I have a little spraying booth over here. Okay, so I just did a light coat. Now you get your sawdust in a bag like this. You'll put your dowel and your tweezers in here and kind of just rub it around. Get it all over that. Look, mine came off, and that's good too. You can you can either take them off, you can shake the bag really well. So it'll come off. Now we have this, and it still is going to be a little bit wet. But that's okay. Uh, so now what I have is just an old ruler or a, just a flat piece. You can use a piece of cardboard or anything you want. What I do is I like to take the sides and just squish them down so they're tighter around it. And for the edges, just do the same thing. Just make sure all the sawdust gets stuck. And you can even do another layer of sawdust once you're done if you're not happy with it. Right now it just you can see a little bit of the dowel, but not that much, and I just like it like this. So, it's really your preference, guy, preference, guys. So, yeah. Addition to this video, guys, I'm going to show you the green light F3, F350 2019 F350. It's one of 64 scale, and it has a gooseneck trailer that comes with it. So, you can load your round bales up on this, or no, square bales, sorry get those confused a lot. Then you can just stack them or you can line them up as they would be stacked with the tractor. You could have your tractor load them up if you wanted to. Any way y'all want it guys. And this one I tried to string it a little bit 
It turned out okay. I just super glued some string around here, a little twine. And I picked black, but black is not the best color. That's all I had. So I'll probably get some more string. Do some more stuff with it, but yeah. Y'all can even stack them up by your pasture if you wanted to. And y'all can use these for model railroad. Same scale.